Hello everybody and welcome back to a new update. I am Pat from Pat's Path Predictor and Invest91 now has a 70% chance to development in the next 48 hours and in the last few hours I've been seeing noticing some a concentrated area of storms that's developing in its northwestern uh, west of the central pressure and it's not looking like it's letting up anytime soon because I've noticed these storms that are just uh, bubble up for a little, about an hour and they just die down but this one's been going on for the uh, for the last four to five hours right now, so I want to show you guys the satellite as well as everything else, just to show you what I'm talking about. So, all right, so this is the situation we have. This, this is the satellite imagery. So, as you can tell, these storms have been bubbling up for the last like five plus hours, and you can really tell this thing isn't really letting up uh, at all. Like, because I've noticed that the storms will just fire up for about an hour and they'll just slowly die down. But this one looks uh, this one looks a, a bit different than that, and I'll. Show you why, because this thing, like in the last five or this is the last 30 frames, will actually go back to 40 uh, for this, just to show you the context of this. Um, so yeah, basically that happened. This uh, this one uh, this one area right here, this one small uh, dot right here, uh, basically starts bubbling up really quickly. It kind of uh, then it ke it keeps doing it, and it's been doing it for almost uh, basically almost seven hours now. So. Yeah, this looks like a more pronounced area that of, of storms that this is likely here to stay. And I'm noticing these two areas right here just, you know, it's, I mean, it's not out of the ordinary for sure, but I'm looking at it like these two cells right here are starting to fire up. This storm is really starting to get its act, to get, uh, get its act together. And if we go ahead and re resume that right there, it's, yeah, you can tell what I'm talking about. So yeah, this store, this uh, this invest is really starting to get its act together. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, Eastern North Pacific right here. This is the latest uh, from the NHC. Uh, this is south of the Gulf of Te uh, Te uh, Tepic. Um, visible satellite imagery indicates that a broad area of low, pr a broad area, a broad low pressure system has formed in association with an area of dis uh, disturbed weather, with a, an area of disturbed weather loca uh, located. A couple hundred miles south uh, of the Gulf of Tehantepec, environmental conditions are expected to remain conducive for additional development, and a tropical depression is likely to form in, within the next day or two as the system moves west northwest or northwestward around five to ten miles per hour. This is their words, not mine. It is likely to de uh, uh, likely to develop within the next uh, within the next day or two. So everyone needs to. Uh, keep that in mind. Everyone needs to pay attention to that. Regardless of development, locally heavy rains are possible across, uh, along the coastal sections of Guatemala and southern Me uh, Mexico along the next few days, and interest in these areas should monitor the progress of the system. In fact, we can really verify that just by the satellite imagery, actually, because if we go even further back, let's go ahead and go back to, let's say, 90 frames. Uh, right here, you can see this really thing. This really developed in the morning, and these kind of this area kind of moved on shore, and just uh, that's just causing a lot of rainfall. It eventually, winded down, but then it had that. So yeah, we can verify that based only on the satellite imagery, even. So that's basically the good thing about tropical tidbits, honestly, because that way you know where the local or the high cloud tops are. You like you can see we're seeing minus se um, ra uh, this area of minus 70 cloud tops right here. This thing is not dying down anytime soon. I think this is where I think this is the part where it uh, where it's going to be a tropical depression. This is my own conjecture right here. It's starting that uh, it's starting that development and then Next thing you know, all it needs to do is organize a little bit more, and boom, there it's there. It's there, and all it has to keep doing is remain organized and and keep sucking in more of that warm water, and then boom, it starts intensifying to tropical storm hurricane. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first, let's go ahead and look at the current storm information. This is Invest 91E location: 12.5 degrees north. Uh, uh, 40, uh, 94.9 degrees west. Maximum winds are still 25. The pressure has got, come down to 1,008 millibars. It was 1,009, so it has dropped a little bit, but at the same time, it's really not that much of a difference over 12 hours. So, yeah, we're dr it's, it's still, that does say that, that this thing's getting its act together. The radius of maximum winds, though, has come down to 70 nautical miles, which is probably an indication that the system is starting to get its act together as well. So, Let's go ahead and continue this. These are the latest tracks according to according to Tropical Tibbets and several of these models right here. With the HMNI after it making landfall in Mexico, just it goes swarming th uh, through the Gulf uh, into the Gulf. So the HWFI isn't that far off either. It does the same thing. 
But the majority of these models, honestly, if you take a look at them, you're starting to see a more general pattern of this thing moving uh, to the west or northwest, northwest, and then making that turn, making landfall in, uh, in Mexico, and after that, it just scatters all over the place. So we have a more general area of what's going to happen. We just we just don't have the cone of this until it's issued a tropical depression, so we can kind of draw one based off of this. So let's, with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the intensity. This has been pretty interesting to monitor because... Every single, like, only three models have to keep this as a tropical storm, and the rest of them have it as a hurricane. The question is how how strong of a hurricane? Well, the majority of the models have come down a bit, uh, having it at around Category 1 strength. However, there are a, a couple of outliers right here, uh, particularly a the AVNI that has to go up to Cat 2, and the HWFI that goes up to Cat 3, so... Yeah, this thing, so yeah, this thing is likely going to, according, if these, if we look at just the models alone, this thing's likely going to be striked into a, a Category 1 hurricane. However, it's too early to say that, uh, that, uh, that for certain, because at this point there are a lot of factors that uh, need to uh, be developed right here. For example, we need to look basically just keep an eye out on this. We need to look at the development. We need to see how fast it's developing. And its development is actually improving significantly. If you take a look at this, so let's go ahead and refresh the page right here. So yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting situation. This thing needs to load. But this is a pretty interesting situation I've been monitoring for a while. So yeah, this, yeah, this looks like it's getting more concentrated. It's getting its act together. So that's basically what I am, lo uh, what I am looking at right now. But yeah, I'm but yeah, here's what I'm, I'm thinking is going to happen. What I think is going to happen is that within the next like 18 to 36 hours, this thing's going to be a, a develop into a tropical depression, and after that, it's going to really start ramping up its intensity. And all, however, all of that depends how fast it, depend, it, it really intensifies depends on how quickly this thing can organize and how much of that warm water it can really take out. But until then, I'll be monitoring the situation. Next update from this channel is going to be uh, for this uh, for the 7 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. Pacific uh, out outlook. So, so stay tuned for that. With that being said, it's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. Helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Also, we are at 666 subscribers. So the, you know the Illuminati is coming uh, soon. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.